Yeah, so look, I think it's a great conference, it's a great event. Um, I think for me it's the third time I'm attending Startup Turkey. And what I'm noticing is that um, the, the event has really um, become, uh, you know, a lot more developed. And, um, and I think that's generally a sign of the ecosystem getting also stronger and more mature. So um, it's great for me to see many more investors. I remember I, I, I once came to this event in the very early days and, you know, there were only a very few investors, few entrepreneurs, etc. And, and um, what I'm seeing now is really the, the ecosystem maturing. And I think we, we're still just at the beginning, by the way, of this ecosystem in Turkey. I think it's going to continue, get stronger and stronger and stronger. You know, I remember again, like four years ago, um, uh, one of the first angel networks got set up in Turkey, um, uh, GBA. And it was a big deal. Oh, wow, the first angel network in Turkey. Now, as far as I know, there are 10 or 15 angel networks in Turkey. Um, so it's, it's all very encouraging. I think it's kind of exponential. You know, the more entrepreneurs, the more investors, um, also the more entrepreneurs who've done one or two startups already, um, they are more mature entrepreneurs, they, they know the game, etc. So um, it all makes for a better ecosystem. And actually, a lot of the entrepreneurs we've spoken to here are people who um, are onto their second or third startup. So it's very much illustrating that point. And there are actually some, some of them are people we've known in the past when they were doing their last startup and so on. So that's, that's great. That's all very, very encouraging. Um, and, um, and I think it's great that the conference is here in Antalya because everybody's together, everybody can spend, you know, from, you know, morning to, 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 to kind of the, the, the late dinner time evening together. And uh, it's, it's just a very effective way of catching up with a lot of people, especially for me being based in London. This conference is a great way to, you know, see everyone very efficiently, quickly, catch up um, and, um, you know, hopefully get involved in some, some new, uh, new opportunities. Yeah, so I was really impressed with the, um, the um, speed networking yesterday because I participated in it for almost two hours. And I got to meet a lot of people I didn't know, and I thought that was a great initiative. So, um, uh, so that was great. I also, yes, met a lot of new startups as well. My colleague Firat Ileri is here as well. Don't know if he's uh, done this interview too with you guys. Um, but he's, he's uh, based in Istanbul and uh, on behalf of Hummingbird Ventures, and he's, um, you know, he's, he's, he's on the beats. He's always tracking new startups and uh, seeing what people are doing. So, yeah, so I must have met with 30 or 40 new startups here. So Hummingbird Ventures is a seed and early stage fund. Um, we started about 15 years ago. We're on to our fourth fund now. Um, and uh, what we try to do is we try to invest either uh, when the company gets started at seed stage or at series A stage. In Turkey, we've invested in Chichek CPT, Peak Games, and Gram Games, uh, Armut.com, Digitouch. Um, we've also invested in um, about 20, 25 companies in Europe, and we've invested in a few companies also in, uh, in the Gulf, in the Middle East. Um, so um, uh, we actually have a dedicated fund for Turkey and the Middle East, but primarily Turkey. Um, and we're still actively seeking new investments. We don't act, we don't, we're not a super frequent investor, so we probably do about one new investment every year. Um, but um, uh, <clears throat> so we're, we're still very excited about the opportunity in Turkey. Um, we think it's, it's, you know, it's getting better and better, as I was saying. The ecosystem is getting better. Um, and I would say that in the, in the early days, we were mostly focusing on companies that were targeting the Turkish market, like Chichik um, Sepete. And uh, now I would say uh, it's a mix because we're actually finding companies that are targeting global markets out of Turkey. And, um, and those naturally have a, a much larger market opportunity. And that, that also is also more exciting for us as an investor. And Peak Games is a good example of that because Peak actually started as a company that was primarily targeting Turkey and targeting the Middle East. Um, and now when you look at Peak's revenue mix, actually more than half the revenue is global. And that's actually increasing now. So, um, and I think also that's part of the evolution of this ecosystem in Turkey. You know, initially the ecosystem was very focused just on Turkey, but now more and more people are just thinking global.